guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about the effect the morning after pill has on your menstrual cycle. This is mostly because this question just popped into my head the other day while I was reading something or doing some research or something like that and I, I wondered about it and I realized I'd never really heard the answer. So it all depends on when you take it in your cycle. I found this Princeton article talking about these three separate studies that had been taken on progesterone only pills. There are a lot of birth control pills as well as morning after pills including the synthetic progesterone levangestrel, levangestrel. That's the majority of the information I found. So in the first study, the women took the full dose of the pill, 1.5 milligrams, within the first three weeks of their cycle, and these women got their periods much earlier than normal. In the second study, women took the full dose within two days before or two days after ovulation. But what's interesting about this one is women that took it two days before ovulation got their period sooner, and those who took it within two days after got their period later than normal. And then in the final study, the third study, they split it between two pills, so 0.75 milligrams of the levangestrel, and they took it within 12 hours of each other. And they also took it in their follicular phase, so in between your menstrual and ovulatory phase. And these women had significantly shortened cycles, but if they took it after ovulation, even if it was the two doses, it didn't really affect the length of their cycle. And I found that was very common for women to report spotting in between taking the pill and getting their period. And that seems to be a very common side effect. Besides these synthetic progesterone only pills, they also had combination pills of synthetic estrogen and synthetic progesterone that were almost as common as the progesterone only pill. There is also another morning after pill that was made of, let me see if I can pronounce it right, olopristal acetate, which is a steroid ingredient as well as a synthetic progesterone antagonist. So it's a progesterone blocker and it keeps the hormone from carrying out its normal function. So it wasn't too much information that I found, but I found enough to where it answered my question and it kind of explained to me. And I thought it was interesting that depending on where you took it in your cycle, it would affect when your period next came. So yeah, that's what I have for this video. And I know it's not too much, maybe it wasn't interesting, but I'm sure there's people out there that had the same curiosity that I did. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.